So, you want to pursue a career in the film industry, you're looking to go to college for film school, or you just started film school. Here's five things that you're going to want to know that nobody's going to tell you before you go into film school. To most people, the film industry seems like a very cool, fun career that would be like amazing to go into. You can make a lot of money and enjoy making movies and short films, but I think there is like a romanticized version of the film industry and like the reality of it. Going into film school, I thought I'd be fine just getting one or two student productions under my belt and doing an internship and then I could leave college and get some job offers. Boy, was I so far from the truth. So today, I wanna help make sure that y'all that are going into film school now, you know, this year, are going in with the right expectations that you know to do the right things because these five things I'm gonna talk about were not stressed to me by any career advisor during my time at college, and they should have been. So here we go, here's five things you're gonna wanna make sure you do during your time in college at film school. Right off the bat, internships, internships, internships. Internships are so important because when you leave film school, places are gonna be asking that you have three to five years of experience. This is not possible coming out of college. Entry-level jobs nowadays require you know, three to five years of experience, which isn't right. That's not entry level. That's not right for people to do. It's messed up, but it's the reality of it. And so internships are gonna be a great way to fill in for actual work experience, because let's be real, if you're in film school and in college, you're not gonna have the time to get a full-time job in the film industry. So internships are gonna be the bread and butter to build your resume. If you can get two to three good internships, solid internships that, you know, can relate to the field you want to go in. So for example, if you want to be a director, get production internships. If you want to go into production and do onset work, you need to have production internships to back that up. One internship is not good enough anymore. If you want to be ahead of the curve and be ahead of, the, of your peers in the pack, you need to have at the very least two to three. That is the minimum required for the industry nowadays, I'm telling you. Second in importance to internships is uh, student production experience. Now, this is only really applicable if you want to get into, um, you know, film production. But actually, if you think about it, it does work for like video editing and screenwriting as well. Because if you can get a couple, you know, script writing things under your belt and some editing credits under your belt, it works just as good as like onset experience in student film productions. You can learn all you want about, you know, how to use equipment in the classroom, but student films are gonna allow you to get out in the field without, you know, a teacher supervising you. So you're gonna have to think on your feet. Student films are a great way to, you know, build your skill set and be more comfortable and like getting familiar with equipment and being on set. Even more important than that though, is the fact that student films and like productions when you're in college is going to allow you to build a reel leaving college. You wanna do at least, I'd say two productions per year. As long as you can say that you worked on something to put it in your reel, that's gonna be so important. You're gonna be so ahead of the curve when applying to jobs because not every job is gonna ask for a reel, but a lot of jobs will ask you to provide a reel with your application. So if you can get a reel together that has some pretty high quality productions when you were in college, people are gonna think, wow, this is, what he, this is how good he is or how good she is coming out of college. I can't imagine what their potential is to get even better. But let's say you want something even more to add on to internships and student productions. You wanna build your skills even more. On campus jobs. While they are difficult to get because everybody is applying for on-campus jobs, you definitely want to go for these because think about it, if you get an on-campus job, and keep in mind you want to get one that's going to provide you experience in your field. So see if you can work at like a TV studio on campus or work at like an equipment center on campus that gets you working with, you know, either equipment or something that has to do with your major because your supervisors at these jobs are gonna want to help you get better. They're gonna wanna see you blossom and you know, get your skill set so much better and become a much better content creator, producer, writer, video editor, whatever you're going for. They're not gonna be cracking the whip or you know, putting you in situations where you're doing something you don't know how to do. So you got an on-campus job, you got some student films under your belt, you got two or three internships, 
What can you do even more to help yourself coming out of college? One thing you can do is pick your classes smart. What do I mean by this? If you're going to school to learn screenwriting, take as many screenwriting classes as you can. If you wanna to go to school for video editing, take as many video editing classes as you can. If you're going to school for production and doing on-set work, take as many classes that expose you to as much equipment as you possibly can. When I went to film school, I tried to take a little bit of everything. That was a mistake. If I wanted to go into production, I should have been working with as much equipment as possible because in any job that I've been to that requires me to do content production, I go to this job and all of a sudden I'm encountered with pieces of equipment that I've never used before and I'm expected to learn on the fly in front of clients and stuff. So if you already know how to use a lot of equipment on the market, you're gonna be a lot more comfortable going into a new job after college. Take as many classes that relate to, you know, what you wanna go into as possible. Lastly, this is something that I never really thought about. Networking. People on my campus never really liked talking about networking and I feel like the reason why is because people tell you the importance of networking and how you should be doing it, but they never really teach you how to do it. So that's why I wanna talk about it right now because in college, you can do it in a way that's very natural, that doesn't feel like, oh, hi, how are you? Would you like to exchange contact info? No, in college, the way you wanna do it is think about it like this. You're taking, you know, productions, you're going to productions, casting and crew calls, working with people on your campus that are going into the same major as you. They're interested in film production as well. Um, you're taking classes with people that are going into film production as well. People that wanna be in your industry. That's a prime time to network. Find people in your major and that are going into your industry that either you mesh super well with your personalities or maybe not only do you mesh well with them, but they also are a very talented person. Befriend these people, get to know these people. After college, those are the people you're gonna wanna work with. And on top of that, what you wanna do is those connections that you make, make sure that at least some of those people that you're befriending in college and the connections you're making, make sure they're gonna be located kind of close to you where you're gonna be located after school. This way you can meet up with them, hang out with them, collaborate with them. If you guys both wanna work on a short film because you both can't find work and then you wanna see how it does in the festival circuit, oh my gosh, that's gonna be incredible. So those are five things that you need to do. You have to do these five things to land jobs after college. Not only did I not do these five things as well as I could have, but I also saw a lot of other people going to college that didn't do these things either. So if you can do these things, it's stressful. I know, believe me, it's very stressful to have to worry about all five of these things in college, but you have to do them. When I went to college, career advisors would say things like, oh, don't worry if you don't have an internship yet. There's still another year left of college. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. They were trying to de-stress us instead of stressing the importance of getting internships early on, of getting going to casting and crew calls early on. And I think that was a great disservice done to us as students. But if you can do these things, get two to three internships, on-campus jobs, if you can get one or two of them, if you can get you know around one or two student productions per year to build a reel, if you can network with people that you can work with after college, and then if you can choose your classes smartly to grow your skills as good as you can, you're gonna be set coming out of film school. If you have any other questions about, you know, film school or going into film school, be sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash Excalibur Games. I stream there Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. EST. I'd be more than happy to answer questions on the fly. Also, make sure to stay updated with the channel. Be sure to subscribe to see future uploads. And as always, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Now that, now that